Hello, and welcome to the people's, well, the all-new people's stimulus update. In my updates, I am going to try to give you more intellectual updates as far as what's going on with the, yes, including politics, but along with other things that may involve with the current stimulus package that's been passed and what may be delaying any stimulus payments you may be getting and so forth. Plus, in this episode, I also do have three clips that I'm going to be playing for you. And I hope you enjoy them because they're actually quite informational. And I know that some of you are still waiting for your stimulus checks if you haven't already received them. But people may have their payments garnished by private debt collectors. The current round of stimulus payments still cannot be garnished for child support or tax debt or the things along that line. But it can be seized by private debt collectors if they already have a judgment against you. That's so basically what you're saying. What you're hearing is, is these private debt collectors can come after your current stimulus check and snag it from you if they have a judgment against you, which is not a good thing. But Senator Ron Wyden is plan is basically planning on introducing a legislation for this basic problem, this oversight of theirs. So the checks cannot be garnished at all, so you should be able to receive your checks. If your money already went to someone or someone else, namely the private debt collector, then it may already be a bit too late to receive your money. These payments are protected against most forms of garnishment, but if you have a judgment against you from a private debt collector, then this is something you want to keep an eye out for in case you haven't received your stimulus payment yet. So basically, if you haven't received your stimulus payment yet, you might want to start checking with any private debt collectors you may have to see if they've actually garnished it from you. And if they have, then you may not be getting it back. In fact, I guarantee you probably won't be getting it back. But like I said, I do have some clips for you. My first clip is, is actually a Trump supporter ripping up his stimulus check and saying, no thanks, Biden. No thank you, Biden. We won with poorly educated. I love the poorly educated. Now, how stupid can you be ripping up a $1,400 check just because it came from Biden? That's pretty bad, don't you think? And the next one I have is basically President Biden's two giant goals that he's going to basically take care of the next 10 days or will be taken care of the next 10 days. Over the next 10 days, we'll reach two goals, two giant goals. The first is 100 million shots in people's arms will have been completed within the next 10 days and 100 million checks in people's pockets in the next 100 days. Shots in arms and money in pockets. And the final one is the state of our union. It is an individual talking about um, how our country treated us compared to how other countries treated their citizens. And this includes stimulus as well as other forms of keeping them alive. Every other industrialized country around the world has been able to provide stimulus for its people during this pandemic. Canada, $2,000 a month to its citizens. Japan, subsidizing wages up to 100% of wages while their businesses are being asked to close. From Norway to Finland to Sweden to Australia to New Zealand to Germany to France. Families receiving over $7,000 a month. And as surprisingly, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich came out and said, you know what, now's not the time to be frugal. Here's a guy, Newt Gingrich, who passed four balanced budget agreements in the 1990s with Bill Clinton. He's a Republican House Speaker. Four balanced budget agreements. He's coming out saying that now's not the time to be frugal. That deficit ship has sailed. Get stimulus out to the American people right now. And thank you for actually joining me for all my stimulus updates that I've been doing for almost a month now. Sorry, a year. I started them back when the Heroes Act was being thought of before um, Mitch McConnell, which was at the time the Senate Majority Leader, basically said the Heroes Act was dead upon arrival because of the $3.2 trillion price tag. And he was going frugal and said, nope, not doing it. And he basically killed it before it got to the Senate. And it sat on his desk collecting dust all this time. So I've been doing it for a very long time. And I appreciate every one of my viewers for tuning in to me and listening to me and enjoying the, the roller coaster with me. 
because that's what where it was. It's a big old roller coaster, and I and I loved every one of you guys for joining me on this roller coaster ride. I'm not gonna stop doing my videos. I'm gonna still give you intellectual stimulus because that's basically what it is now. Because unless they're planning to throw out another stimulus package, which I don't think that's gonna happen, um, this is all about stimulating your mind and your body so you can see what's really out there what's really going on and because trust me i watch some of these my my, my, my simmons videos too so i still learn a bit from my own videos as well but until next time you guys have a wonderful evening and i'll broadcast again you can tomorrow or thursday